how's it going JDM crew? A lot of you guys have been waiting months for this. And here she is. <laughs> the Shigeru Watanabe Genuine GTR. As you can see the B&H auction there, BH. Yeah, it's the real deal. And um, so a lot of you guys know about Mr. Watanabe and his legacy know about the Hakoska and how this all led to a much deeper fandom than you might expect from a lot of cars. Definitely the legacy of Godzilla it all started with uh, some of his builds and of course GTR service Watanabe over in Saga which is on the western side of Japan but uh, the legend continues today and uh, we're about to look a little closer at this one. So it's not going to be any crazy driving or anything. It's not exactly street legal. It is a race car. Um, so, but it's right here at JDM Expo. So let's uh, have a look around and I'll show you what this is all about. Uh, a little bit less on the history, just more about this car itself. And um, if you guys are curious about that, maybe we could do another video on that or uh, dig into it uh, online and go through some Japanese websites and some old books. But, um, but for now, we're just going to look at this car. So enjoy. So right off the bat, I can definitely tell you that this car had its humble beginnings as a special order from Sports Corner in Tokyo. That's a Prince Nissan dealership. And it was ordered specifically to be a race car, so this has never been on the streets. It was uh, always meant to be on the track. And so uh, you'll notice that besides the nice bold colors and everything just being function over fashion, really, this thing is just made to go. So, uh, yeah, let's just have a look around. And you'll notice that it doesn't have all the creature comforts. You're not going to have any AC, no power windows. You've even got the safety glass on there. If it's not necessary, it's not here. So, yeah. But nice and wide, super grippy tires. And I'll uh, slow down the panning and looking around, but just look into the details here. But just everything about this though, it was raced. So the mileage is actually unknown, but you guys obviously know the historical legacy of this vehicle. And uh, I'll just unlatch the hood, so we'll just get right into it. There's not much on the interior, but I'll still show that to you. And then we'll uh, listen to her purr, because uh, it's absolutely wonderful. And uh, obviously this was made before the days of carbon fiber, so we do have this composite. Oops, it's a little breezy there, so I'll be careful so it doesn't fly up. As you can see, we got the distributor here, advanced coil over there, good old carburetors. And of course, Hakoskas were made you know, around a time where you uh, had a lot of things that what we consider standard today, it was all optional back then. And so he pretty much just ordered this with all the minimal stuff and then chopped off the rest. No AC, no none of that, no power steering. Not many cars had it back then anyways. But yeah. But you're gonna love how this sounds. Alrighty. But yeah, this is actually not that heavy. It's definitely lighter than the steel ones from the other cars. And you know we've had plenty of Hakoskas over the last few years. And just last year alone we had a ton. Yeah, it's a little breezy. <laughs> 
show you. This is as classic as it gets. All right, I'll latch this down. We'll look at the interior. I'll start off with the passenger side since I'll be over here. Well, actually, I can even show you the trunk. There's not much going on back here besides fuel tank and all the essentials. As you can see, it's been cut and uh, it's uh, very minimalistic. Got to reduce the weight as much as possible. As you can see, fuel filter, fuel pump, all that good stuff here. You got manual switches to start up everything. <laughs> uh, so the stock location for the gas tank is there and it's usually tucked up underneath there, but they put it lower here for, well, you have a decent volume as well as lower center of gravity, so. Function over fashion, as I said. GTR service Watanabe, right there. Let's have a look inside and so yeah we do have this safety glass because it is a race car as I keep saying and uh, no panels here and uh, we've got all this beautiful interior <laughs> as uh, you guys might be expecting there's nothing in here we just have a uh, roll cage or roll bar right there. Got some of the harnesses here. That's attached over there as well. And as you can tell, it's a lot more echo than usual because there's nothing. <laughs> yeah, even this, just this basic cover for a dash. Got the battery right there. Just enough to get everything started. Got the fuel pump, ignition, and it got wipers if you actually need them. And uh, all your switches. So we'll start her up shortly. Just the standard steering wheel. And, uh, and racing seat. Got a couple of fuses there, some electrical stuff, but it's just all the essentials that's it nothing else And in terms of gauges, we've got water temperature, we've got the alternator current, we got the RPM here. Not even worried about how fast you're going, you just go as fast as you can. There we go. I think that's oil pressure. Oh, got a little closer. Bare essentials. <laughs> so this does sound pretty good. When the engine's running, it just echoes. Actually, let's start her up. And you might be wondering, John, how do we start her up? Well, let's start her up. See that switch right there, or that button? We're gonna get her started. Woo. You hear that? It's just awesome. Love 
to hit the track with this. Well, there you have a JDM crew, one of a kind and only that's something you'll find from JDM Expo. So, uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, you know what to do. Just hit that like and subscribe. If you're looking for any other information about this or any other vehicles, make sure to hit up our sales team info at jdm-expo.com. Definitely, they can find you some one-of-a-kind vehicles. I mean, yeah, wow. So, um, <laughs> yeah, definitely, this thing's beautiful. I'm going to be putting her back in the warehouse here. She's going to be nice and safe. And, um, yeah, definitely love to hear that just... Mm. The uh, individual uh, throttle bodies, those carbs and everything just sounds so good. You guys know what I mean. Well, anyways, thanks for watching. Stay safe. Make sure uh, to, uh, well, I know I'm kind of in the middle of nowhere, wearing, not wearing a mask, but you know what to do if you avoid crowded places, all that other stuff. Stay healthy. Hope you guys are doing well wherever you are in the world, and um, I'll see you in the next video.